Hello and welcome to another x 10 video. Today we're in the EADT X737 project. Um, link will be in the description, but it's a well-known uh, free 737-800 with a uh, payware FMC add-on that you can choose to purchase that replaces the default x 10 uh, FMC. I have that, so I will be using that. Links to both the FMC and the plane will be in the description. Uh, we're flying KLM 1009 service from um, Amsterdam over to London Heathrow. It's a very short hop. Uh, I just wanted to do something quick in this plane and uh, also for my favorite virtual airline, which is Royal Dutch Virtual. Um, they recently updated their flight scoring policies. Uh, they don't officially support X-Plane, and the way their old scoring system worked, it was very difficult to pass a flight in certain aircraft uh, in X-Plane for, for them. Um, but they've made some pretty significant changes to the scoring system, and now it's very easy to pass a flight in X-Plane for them uh, in all the aircraft I've tried, uh, but you will still find it difficult to get 100% because there are some things that are just never registered um, the way they detect things in the simulator so with all that said the airplane is turned on running on the GP or er, on the uh, yeah it's running on the GPU goodness uh, route and fuel planning is courtesy of Royal Dutch Virtual so I loaded the plane up with fuel and payload now we've just got to program the route and we will go ahead and get underway. So we'll hop down to the FMC and we will start on the route page. We are flying EHAM to EGLL. We will activate and execute that. Our departure out of Amsterdam will be off of 24 because I'm lazy and that is the closest runway to us. Well, now that I say that, it's probably not. It looks like instead we will do... No, no, clear, go away. We will depart off of 18 left. That's still not giving me the SID that I want. Very well. We'll just uh, we'll just fly off 24, and we'll break we'll break a couple of rules here. Uh, because Amsterdam, as some of you may know, is enormous, and taxing out to the runway that they like to use for departures, depending on conditions, takes uh, longer than the flight to London will. The route between uh, Schiphol and Heathrow will be, let me pull it up here, UL980, L982 Logan. And our arrival into Heathrow will be the Lam 3A arrival with the Logan transition onto the ILS for 9 right. So that is all good to go. Go back to the init page here. I'm just going to put in one for reserves. Cost index of 30. And our cruising altitude, we will do 32,000 feet. Transition altitude in Amsterdam is 3,000 feet. We'll take an assumed temperature of 20 degrees. Flap 5. Now we have our takeoff trim 
and our V speeds. Come back up here first before I forget we will set let's see 141 156 in the MCP which is V2 plus 15 and we'll go ahead and set 32,000 feet it's 32,000 feet is high for this short of flight uh, it'll basically make it an arc if we even actually get to 32,000 feet but it is what it is uh, at this point I'm going to go ahead and start the APU we will tell our passengers that they may not smoke and that they need to sit down and we will close the doors and we'll tell ground handling to go away switch over to APU power and we will lose the GPU take the yaw damper window heats and probe heat trim air APU bleed isolation valve open electric hydraulic pumps we are in pretty good shape all around Runway heading off of runway 24 is 238 degrees. And with all that done, I do believe that we're ready for pushback. Double check that the door's closed, and they are. Shut the packs off. We will call a tow truck. and we will get rid of the other ground handling vehicles. We'll take flight directors. Let me get the weather. I've switched to the no plug-in because I can hit a button and get a Medar in the uh, in the sim which I like. QNH is 1026. Lock the tow truck. We'll take the other fuel pumps. Start to be turn on the beacon. And we will start our pushback. We will start engine number two. Take traffic and terrain. I don't think the terrain radar actually works, but we'll turn it on anyway. And over here we will take traffic and weather. Start engine number one. Start our turn.
get rid of the tow truck, take a taxi light, switch to engine generators, lose the APU and the APU bleed, isolation valve can go to auto, and the packs can come on, with recirc fans on auto. We will take flap 5, get rid of the tow truck, the trim is 4.75, engine switches to continuous, and everything is good to go. Now the question is, can I find my way? over to runway 24. The answer is we'll know shortly. I got my new MFG crosswind pedals in and they are absolutely amazing. I'm going to put a link to those down in the description. Um, if they are something that you've looked at and are on the fence about whether or not you think you want them or will buy them, the answer is that they are amazing and that you should probably go ahead and get them. They are absolutely amazing. I went the wrong way on this taxiway. And I went the uh, I went the wrong way on this taxiway. Well, the right direction for traffic, but the wrong direction to get to 24. So we will turn this thing around and go the right direction this time. can arm the auto throttle. We can turn on the weather radar. And here we are at runway 24. And we'll go ahead and take the landing lights and turn offs. And we will take the strobe. Togo.
at LNAV and VNAV and hand it over to the autopilot. And that is us off out of Amsterdam. Welcome back. We are coming up on top of descent, so we'll go ahead and get ready for that. Uh, first off, we'll take auto brake one. Well, we'll do two. It's a long runway, and our gate is at the other end of it. But we still want to get out of the way of traffic as though we were flying online, which we aren't. Um, we'll take full flap, which gives us a V ref of 132 knots. And we'll go ahead and tune this ILS. Uh, just to make sure that we have it should we need it. Uh, so it's a course of 89 degrees. It's easier just to click that window and type it in in some cases. And the frequency is 109.5. So we've got that in both the navigation radios. We're all set up in case we need to use the ILS, which we shouldn't because the weather is nice. At least I think it's nice. We can go ahead and check that. Uh, yes, the weather is nice. Wind has changed a little, but the weather is definitely nice. Our initial descent will be down to 6,000 feet. And we will be descending shortly.
FMC did not draw the arrival properly, so as you saw, I did some did some uh, corrections to it there and flew the approach according to the chart, which is what you should always do, which I usually don't pay attention to those things. Um, but I did this time, so there you go. Anyways, we are about to turn final onto 9 right into Heathrow. Everything is looking pretty good. We will decelerate further after this turn and start dirtying up the airplane. And then we'll put it on the ground. Take gear down. We will start decelerating to our V ref. We'll give it 137. We want to capture the localizer. We'll take flap one, two, five. Apparently we are way high, according to the ILS. Let's see if we can try and catch that glide slope there. Speed brakes out. We are very, very high, goodness. And I don't like that crazy oscillation it's got going there. Tell you what we'll do. We'll do this by hand. Flap 15. That's looking much better. down trim.
50, 30, 20, 10. And good grief, it stopped. That's not right. Alright, we'll take a taxi light. I didn't set the engine switches to continuous. I, I usually do forget that. Bring the speed brakes in. We'll bring the flaps in. find a parking spot. fast, too fast. We'll park here at 424. Parking brake, there it is. APU power. Lose the engines. You can lose the beacon. And switch to ground power. And we can lose the APU. We will get some ground handling vehicles going. Take catering and loaders, call it good. Alright, this has been KLM 1009 in the X737 project, service from Amsterdam to London Heathrow. Real short hop, but uh, wanted to plug for Royal Dutch Virtual a little bit. Go check them out, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, check out the MFG crosswind pedals. They are an absolute delight to use. Uh, so much more comfortable than my previous pedals, which were Thrustmaster T-Flights, which are plasticky and kind of junky. Uh, but they are still a great entry-level kind of option. I had to get something because I switched to a Thrustmaster Warthog, which does not have a twist stick. So you have no yaw control on the Thrustmaster Warthog. Uh, so you have to have some pedals. Um... 
descriptions or links to things like my computer specs, explain add-ons, all of that kind of stuff, rendering settings are all in the description, so please feel free to go and check those out. Uh, leave me any comments that you feel like. Uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.